hash plot actually provides us multiple resources that we can use, multiple types of resources that we can use to get our data or to communicate with our LLM. So the simplest is basically the chat resource. And the chat resource basically allows us to specify all of these things and it gives back the value in the form of a chat array with your user messages and with your system messages. So that is the way to do that if you are creating a really chat-based interface like ChatGPT or Google Gemini, the usual way that we use for that purpose. But in our case, for my application, all I want is I want an input here and I want to get a response here in the form of the form here. Okay, so I don't need a whole chat history. I'm not showing that anywhere. So for me, I can use a different resource that they have provided. They have this API overview section here in the documentation, API overview. And here you can choose a resource that is right for you. So what we need is we need uh, a structured completion resource. Okay, so what is the difference between a chat resource and a structured chat resource? So chat resource basically just gives you plain text as the output here. Okay, but structured chat resource actually gives you back uh, a structure or a type specific typed object that you can specify in your uh, schema here using a language that they have. Okay, so we do need a structure because in our application, as you go here, you're going to see that we have for your form schema or for your form model here, you can see that we have our interface of form row and within that we have our fields and for each field, for each field array, we have an array of these form fields here. This basically creates our dynamic form and uh, we use the drag and drop form builder to create this till now. So we want Hashproud to actually understand this structure, okay? So this is the structured chat resource, but we actually need something more. So we need just a single response back. We don't need a whole chat history. So we have structured completion resource. So structured completion resource seems to be the perfect option that we can use for our purposes. So let's create a structured completion resource here and we can create it. We can call it as AI chat and we can say a structured completion resource here like this. Okay, great. So this is our first resource. So the first thing we need to specify here is basically your model that we need to see. Okay, so the first would be the model. Now there are different options for the model here. We obviously are using the Gemini model here. So we are going to use 2.5 and flash here like this. Okay. Secondly, we want to give a system prompt. All right. So we're going to specify this later when we come to that section. Then we have a schema section here. Okay. So this is really important because we are expecting a structured response. We need to provide a schema which actually specifies in what structure that response should be. 